Hey guys, uh, DIY electric skateboard. Uh, just wanted to take another quick video. Just got back um, from my ride doing a range test on this thing and uh, wanted to take a, a quick one while while it was kind of fresh in my mind. Um, so, you can see the tires are dirty. Um, I did get, let's see my phone here. I have an app on here for a couple different speed apps. And I did take a screenshot when I finished. Find it here. Okay, so this shows the speed. There's the range right there. I got 8.3 miles. And uh, maximum speed was 20 miles an hour. Average speed 13.8 miles an hour. So 8.3 miles. And uh, I ended up going out about four miles before turning around and coming back because I didn't want to go too far. And I almost made it back uh, to my house and uh, the um, low voltage cutoff kicked in. So it was, uh, it was a pretty good trip. So 8.3 miles and my low voltage cutoff on this speed control is set at uh, 3 volts per cell, which... Um, I don't know, it may be a little bit low. Normally when I run my RC cars, I run them at, you know, I run the low voltage at like 3.2 or 3.4, but so I'm going to charge these batteries and see how much, um, how much MAH I put back into them. That'll kind of give me an idea if I, if I ran them, you know, a little bit too low or not. So, um, we'll see how that works out and I'll leave comments in the comment section. Um, one thing, um, I did notice and I wanted to mention a couple things about this remote. Um, I really like how it feels. Um, this feels good, but you, when you're driving it, this is not comfortable. So you end up kind of doing this, which is fine. You know, it's fine, it's small, it works good. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is when you're accelerating, the acceleration feels a little notchy. So when you're jumping different speed levels, when you're just trying to speed up a little bit, it feels like you're kind of doing this, like you're kind of you're giving it uh, more throttle input than what it's actually putting out. So it does feel feel notchy, and the speed tends to jump. And I did have a couple times where I was going uh, fairly slow, and for no apparent reason, it uh, the, it threw a brake on just for a split second, it threw it into the into a brake like I was hitting reverse, uh, but I wasn't. So I don't know if that was. If I was losing connection, maybe, or getting a weird cross signal, um, I know that this receiver does not have an antenna, which in itself is not, you know, terribly unusual because I do have a lot of, uh, you know, RC car radios that don't have antennas either, and, and they work just fine with no problems at all. So I did notice that, and also when I bound this to the this transmitter to the receiver. Um, and it, it did bind this immediately um, wheel started spinning forward so on its own so I had to turn this adjustment screw which is what it's for to adjust the throttle trim but I had to adjust it all the way to one end to get the wheels to stop spinning um, so then when I blip the throttle forward it would come to a stop sometimes and then sometimes it wouldn't come to a complete stop. It would spin really slow forward. So that kind of bugged me. Now I don't know if I could mess with the screw, the you know, mess with the adjustments and then try rebinding it and see if that will correct that. I'm gonna play with that a little bit later and see if I can get that issue fixed. Because it is kind of annoying because sometimes when you let off and you come to a stop and you jump off the board, it starts creeping forward. Which uh which is not good. I don't like that. So, anyways, overall it seems fairly good. It was sixty dollars, which to me is, I don't know, it's for an RC car radio sixty dollars is a moderate amount. I mean, there are cheaper uh, two point four gigahertz, gigahertz radios. You know, you can get the Fly Sky for like thirty bucks, but um, you know, there's just not anything available in this size. I know uh, Torque Boards makes a remote that is similar to this. It's not this small, and it does have the steering wheel. Uh, but I don't know if it works better or not. So anyways, kind of not really sure on this, how it's going to work out. 
I'll try to post some more information later, um, see if I can get it rebound and see if it works any better. All right, thanks for watching, guys.